<laughs> you know that Jesus Christ is actually indispensable. You know what Jesus Christ said? He said, I am the bread of life. That's, those are his statements. I am the bread of life. He says, any man come to me, if any man come to me, he says, he will not hunger. I asked the question, why do believers still hunger? The word of God says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why do a lot of believers experience lack? Why is it that it's difficult for many believers to experience consistent sufficiency in all things? Why? What's the problem? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Jesus Christ said, I am the bread of life. I was sharing my children yesterday night, and I told them, have you ever considered the statement made by Jesus, I am the bread of life? Why didn't he say, I'm the beauty of life? Why didn't he say, I am the photograph of life? He said, I'm the bread of life. So what do you do with bread? What you actually do with bread is to eat it. So I ask us this question. How many of us are feeding on Christ? Is Christ what you're feeding on? Do you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that faith comes through hearing. Do you know that hearing equates to feeding? When you hear and you meditate, that's feeding. The Bible says faith cometh through hearing and hearing the word of Christos. So listen to me. The more you hear about Christ, the more your faith is fed. The more spiritually nourished you are. You are. Let me tell you, four levers, four levers or leverages that Christ has provided for you. And you are meant to leverage on these four provisions to live a life of all time sufficiency. Number one leverage is you are meant to, your, yes, Christ has given you the spirit. So you are meant to live by the power and the limitlessness of the spirit. If you live by the spirit and not by the flesh, guess what will happen? You will experience sufficiency. Number two, you are meant to live by the resurrection power. Remember that the Bible says that you have become dead to the Lord so that you might be married to the one who is raised from the dead. You, if you consciously acknowledge that resurrection power is at work in you and through you, you will come into a life of sufficiency. Number three, we're meant to live by the exceeding great and precious promises that have been provided to us. Am I making sense? So if you leverage on the promises that God has given to you, they are promises, they are free. They are blessings that have been promised to you. And all you need to do is, on a daily basis, appropriate those from. In other words, take possession of them. It has to be a conscious thing. It has to be a matter of... of um, no, it, has, it has, just has to be something that you you believe and you are aware of and that you are conscious of. Number four is that we're meant to live by the sufficiency of God. <laughs> God has promised sufficiency. He says he's able to make all grace abound unto you so that you have all sufficiency in all things. So I live with a full consciousness of the sufficiency of God. So on a daily basis, you live by the power of the Spirit, you live by the resurrection power, you live by the, you know, the exceeding great promises, promises of God, and you live by the sufficiency of God. Four things. One, the power of the Spirit, the power of resurrection, the power of the great promises, and the power of the sufficiency that comes from God. Let's enter into 2024 with all these leverages. And I promise you, you can never be the same. So how do you do it? On a daily basis, I say, Father, I thank you. I set out acknowledging that the Spirit of God dwells in me and He's limitless. Therefore, I, I proceed into this day with a sense of limitlessness. 
Father, I thank you because of your exceeding great and precious promises. I set out today with the full consciousness of I am the beneficiary of exceeding great and precious promises. Father, I thank you for the resurrection power. I thank you because I set out to be leveraging on the resurrection power of Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you today because I set out with leveraging on your all sufficing sufficiency. I therefore declare that I'm more than an overcomer. I'm victorious. I'm prosperous. I'm successful. I'm fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you. Hallelujah.